Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about West Ham versus Arsenal. My reaction, Mohamed Kudu's performance and player rating. And also, we are going to talk about some key battles that happened in that particular game. If you have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. I want to begin by saying this. See, ever since I started supporting West Ham because of Mohamed Kudu, I've never seen West Ham perform poorly until today you see coming into this game we all knew arsenal were doing so well i mean arsenal looked like a team that wanted to change the likes of liverpool and man city to win the epl title so they have been performing very well in fact they've been liverpool coming into this game so i know that arsenal were on form on the other hand west ham were not really on form i mean things have not been really going well with west ham so i was just hoping for some miracle today and you see the last three meetings between these two, that's West Ham and Arsenal, has always been in the favour of West Ham. And I was hoping for a miracle today, but today it has been a disaster. I mean, I couldn't imagine the scoreline. Honestly, the scoreline is not something you, you, you watch or you see it almost week, week by week. I mean, this scoreline is just too gargantuan. It was too much. Arsenal came to this game to bully and bulldoze, and they did it in ground style. We are going to look at it. Like, let's jump into it and talk about the first half. In the first half, Mohamed Kudus was playing in a deeper role by the right flank. And I was feeling like it was limiting him because the whole West Ham setup was just too defensive. They wanted to catch Arsenal on the break. And it didn't work. It didn't work at all. In fact, in the first half, there were several mistakes that I felt like shouldn't be happening. Zuma and Anget. I mean, you guys are tall. These defenders are really tall. And they were losing aerial battles to the likes of Trossard and Bukayo Saka. It made no sense. In the first half, Arsenal breaked West Ham in grand fashion. You see, let's, let's be very truthful. Those four goals that were conceded by, by West Ham, three of those four goals were through what? Set pieces. Set, set pieces. I mean, you have four defenders. Defenders that have height and you couldn't defend those set pieces. I mean, it was just sad looking, watching, watching West Ham no concede goes through set pieces it was just too too sad i mean and one key battle i was really interested in watching was the game of fold was mohammed kudus versus kiwo i mean yeah. this kiwo guy is really good he pocketed mohammed kudus let's be very honest with ourselves see i love mohammed kudus to death but i'm going to say this the kiwo guy he pocketed mohammed kudus today mohammed kudus really didn't see the game as it was today. I mean, he wasn't really into the game today. I felt like the only West Ham player really doing well or playing well was Jared Bowen. The rest were, I don't know if today they didn't feel like playing football. And today, that key battle, I mean, it was interesting to watch for some time. I was hoping that Mohamed Kudus was going to do more. But in the first half, he didn't give me that Mohamed Kudus, you know, we have been seen at West Ham. It was like the core team. The whole team there, the whole team were two down and Arsenal were dominating. Arsenal dominated a lot in that game. And after the first half, see, Arsenal scored four goals in 14 minutes in the first half. Four goals in 14 minutes in the first half. It was disaster upon disaster upon disaster. And after the first half, most of the fans decided to leave. They were going home. I mean, most of us thought they were going to, you know, take some small breaks, some snacks and drinks here and there. But no, they were going back home. The stadium was half empty. Or half full, should I put it in that way? It was half full by second half. Now, coming into second half, West time changed their approach. John uh, Johnson went to the right side, Mohamed Kudus was playing number 10, and then Wat Prout went to the left side. I mean, that didn't work, that didn't even last for 15 minutes. And then Mohamed Kudus shifts right back to his right wing. And then when he went back, I, th I think Mohamed Kudus' performance in the second half was quite better than the first half. He showed a lot of intensity, he was direct, he was playing well. But you know, I mean, the damage had to be done. And in the second half, it was you no, know, they were still conceded. They were still conceding. Especially Mohamed Kudus playing that number 10 role. They were still conceding. This West Ham team looks like a team that really needs Paqueta and Antonio in the easy. If Antonio is there, then he, he helps Bowie play. Because Bowie cannot play the role of Antonio. That striker that holds off you know, the ball for you know other supporting strikers to come and play. I mean, they didn't display this. Honestly, Mohamed Kudus didn't perform bad. I feel like the whole team performed badly, including Mohamed Kudus. Today, they didn't see it up. And Arsenal came to actually win this game and they won it in grand fashion. They scored a lot of goals. It helps them. 
in their goal tally, looking at the title race currently, is very, very tight. It's a three-horse race between Liverpool, Man City, and also Arsenal. So, guys, this is just my own reaction to the game. Let's talk about the my, my, my like player rating of Mohamed Kudus. You can see that on your screen. And Mohamed Kudus, I felt like wasn't bad, but I feel like generally the team didn't help. So, it drops you of seeing what Mohamed Kudus could have done in that game because I felt like most of the balls were just long balls. They were not pinpointing the ball to like their players to create something. They wanted to just play on the break. They wanted to do some counter and we didn't really see what Mohamed Kudus could do. Then West Ham really needs to start working because they have been performing poorly over some period of time now. They have not really won a game in like the last five games. It's becoming very serious and I think the fans are not really happy with the performance of the players, Mohamed Kudus, we just hope that. I mean, once some of the players like Paqueta and Antonio starts, you know, recovering quickly and being much fit and available for selection, their performance will improve. They'll start picking up three points here and there. But because, you see, when you perform badly like that, no one cares if you perform very well, like as, as in a single player. If the whole team performs badly like that and consists a lot of goal like this, like this gun down to our score line, nobody cares if you, you were too brilliant in that game. And I felt sorry for Mohamed Kudus. But in the second half, he was really, really impressive. In the second half, he was making things happen. Even though he picked up a yellow card, in the second half, he was making things happen. And I, I feel like, aside Bowen, Mohamed Kudus was you know, West Ham's best player in this game. He, he, he really, really, really impressed me. So guys, let me know your thoughts about the performance of you know, West Ham, Mohamed Kudus, down below in the comment section. I mean, what do you think? Do you think Arsenal look like title contenders because they played very well today against um West Ham. Playing away from home scoring a lot of goals and it helps them. I mean I I, I didn't know Declan Rice was this good when it comes to taking set pieces and he did so well today getting some couple of assists scoring a goal himself a very spectacular goal and this brings me to what I said in my previous video. Arsenal are winning games. Arsenal are playing very well without Thomas Partey. I, I feel very sorry because Thomas Partey's influence is gradually coming down at Arsenal. It's gradually going down on Arsenal. And looking at the way they are playing, they are playing like a team that really has gone past Thomas Partey. So, I mean, it's understandable if Arsenal wants to sell Thomas Partey. But today, Arsenal performed very well. I was really impressed with that performance. And I think the whole team believes that this is the time. They can do it. But let's not forget, once City has a game in hand, and we just hope that, I mean... They let the best win. Let the best win. But today, as a West Ham fan, I was really not excited with the way they performed because ever since I started supporting the team, I've never seen them perform poorly like today before. I hope that they build on their performances and also their taxes because today, from the technical plan and everything, it looks like a whole disaster. Mohamed Kudus was placed wrongly, in my own opinion. Some of the players who were placed wrongly, Johnson and Co., I hope that they get it right the next time. But guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go wide.